Well, th this is the inevitable question about uh, uh, costs versus value. You wouldn't want me to tell you that accreditation, whether we're talking about EPAS or Equis, is a cheap activity because I acknowledge that it's not. But at the same time, I think you actually have to look at the value which schools obtain. Part of the value, of course, comes in marketing terms from acquiring a label which differentiates in terms of Equis about 150 schools and in terms of EPAS about 80 programmes from the thousands which exist around the world. But I think more importantly, it's the value which schools derive from going through a structured accreditation process and the feedback which they receive from peer review teams as a consequence of the reports that are written. If you actually think that each peer review team involves four people spending three days within a school, plus days preparing to come to the school and days in writing the report, and all of that time is provided by our reviewers on a pro bono basis, and then you start to think about what that would actually cost if it was a consultancy activity, then I think you begin to see the true value of accreditation alongside what I accept uh, is significant cost.